<laughs> right his right his data dude. What's what's in the box, man? Some danners, man. I'll trade you then. My favorite time to fly, sunset, absolutely beautiful right now. Dream gradient from blue to orange. I'm Matt, a commercial film director and private pilot. My job making car commercials and running a business takes me all over the world, and sometimes I get to fly myself. All right, what's up? I just left the studio with some hard drives and I need to fly them down to see Mo Money Mo Laney, who's gonna put out a sick edit for this content. And uploading it via Comcast will take, you know, a month. Sending it via FedEx will take 19 hours. Flying it via Tiger will take an hour 15. I also got these choice new wheels in the Rocky. I mean, airplane guys don't really care about that. Anyway, I uh, left my flight bag at home. My wife and I just moved into a new house that we built. Actually, that kind of basically she built. And I don't know where my flight bag is. I gotta swing by home and pick it up. Thanks, wife. Thanks. All right. Quick little outside for the story. These are three hard drives. One M2 four terabyte, one Samsung SSD four terabyte. Ah, one very slow spinning hard drive. Drives came in, we copied them to our servers. Morgan wants to start the edit tomorrow. Ideally, which means we gotta get the data to him right now to fly it down there. Check this out, never had a garage in my life. It's pretty sick. Anyway, I filed IFR for this flight, even though it is beyond clear pretty much the entire route. There might be some clouds near Indiana, but for the most part, it is clear, clear. Still file IFR because I want to get in the habit of flying IFR, picking up my clearance in the air, I think, doing that sort of fun stuff. And it says it's an hour 15 with a one knot tailwind. Check this out. Comcast was here today working at the street side. We don't have cable in here at the house yet. They left this spool of cable in the yard with holes punched in it for it's about six weeks, seven weeks now. Very frustrating. 450 a month for 200 megabits down, $14,000 to install cable or you pay for it monthly and they just take their time. It's been nine months so far. Bonus though, new house is 10 minutes, almost exactly nine, 10 minutes from a hangar. Park my plane in the hangar. Now this bird poop sucks. Sparta Tower, Roman Tower 74619 are departing runway 25 Sparta. All right, clear left. All right, fuel pump on, makes your full rich. Flaps are up, trim is set and correct. Carpet is in his lock cavity. Primer is in his lock. Oh, it's bumpy today. Sparta Charm, Grumman Terry, 74609, are just departing runway 25. We'll be the party in the pattern to the south, Sparta. Great Lakes Approach, Grumman Terry, 74609, are just off Sparta. 74609, approach. And approach, Grumman Terry, 74609, are currently 1,500 climbing, looking to pick up our uh, IFR clearance to uh, Purdue, Kilo, Lima, Alpha, Foxtrot. 6196. 4376. 4376, 6190. Great Lakes Approach, Sky Rocket 44, altitude 4500. Sky Rocket 44, approach, traps up to 3030. 3030. Great Lakes Radar contact 2 miles southwest, Sparta Airport, clear to Lafayette, the S filed, so maintain 8000. Traffic 2 o'clock, mile and a half, 2700, indicated eastbound. Clear to Lafayette, as filed, climb maintain 8000, and 619 is looking for that traffic. Grab 609, pilot's discretion 8,000. It's now just off your right wing at a mile, 2,800 indicated. Yeah, you can level off if you want to. Uh, 609, still looking for that traffic, and we'll level off. I have pilot's discretion up to 8,000. All right, do that. And 609 has that traffic in sight. 609, Roger. And uh, wrap up timbers 3030, stay altitude. 3030, 2,300 climb at 609. 
Three for nine altitude check, thanks. All right, this should be a pretty chill flight. One hour, 29 minutes currently showing on the GPS, but we're climbing. That should go down as we pick up some speed once we level off. Stop this one, zero six. Yeah, for red uh, drink. Awesome, minutes flying. Got the data here. Glad I keep the plane fueled because that saved me 20 minutes. All right, settling in here. 2,680 RPM, 136 knots across the ground, 122 knots indicated airspeed. 10.9 gallons an hour. I think we can done that out a little bit. Hottest cylinder head is 384 degrees currently. GoPro batteries died. What are you gonna do? All right, just checking with South Bend. Very friendly controller. Super busy. Uh, a lot of GA traffic. It sounds like it is. Turn uh, two four zero. Maintain two. Very beautiful day. Five nine five. Uh, after Benton Harbor, it looks like you want to go up towards South Haven and Pullman. Not surprising because it's a beautiful day to fly. It's absolutely completely clear. Got Lake Michigan off my uh, passenger side, right window. Looks like there might be some clouds near Lafayette, but we should be under them by the time we get there, which is kind of a bummer. Totally chill, 135 knots, 10 gallons an hour, 10.5 gallons an hour, 10.3 gallons an hour. Honestly, this is pretty basic cruising. An hour 15 there, hopefully an hour 15 back. Yeah, 25 five south and approach. Good evening, south and altimeter 3031, so four right transitions. Smoke FedEx, smoke Comcast. All right, a couple of few things happened off camera here. Uh, South Bend Approach asked me to either ascend to 10,000 or descend to 6,000 for traffic down the road. Uh, I chose to go to 6,000 because we're only uh, 30 minutes out, so I don't want to climb up to 10 and then descend down to land. Also, uh, Southbound 3797 South Bend Approach. Good evening, South Bend Altimeter 3031, clear direct Kalamazoo, which is to maintain 10,000. Also kind of starting to break up on our communication, so she had me switch to her frequency, which sounds a lot better. I get that a lot between South Bend and Kalamazoo where I start losing comms. Um, I'm not sure if there's poor coverage there or what, but it always happens. So don't want to lose comms in an IFR environment. On BFR flight following, it's less of a deal, but IFR, you're technically in a lost comms situation at that point. I don't think I couldn't reach center or someone if I had to, but when you're hopping approaches from like Calum or Great Lakes to South Bend, there's always like a gap right there. And Grumman 619, you want uh, two, three, or one, zero? Uh, 600, take one, zero. Copy. Grumman 619, descent pilot discretion, maintain 3,000. Descent pilot discretion, 3,600. All right, so I'm getting uh, descended here to 3,000. Pull the power back. And I've, I've burned a little more fuel in the left tank on purpose because I took off with little bit less in the right tank, so I'm just trying to even them out. Uh, Shark 902, November Sierra. Lafayette altimeter is 3032, and this is Grisham approach. 3032 for Lafayette. And uh, our tower is going to be 119.6 for Lafayette. And then get that loaded up. We've already got India. I'm going to come over here and make sure I'm aware of everything that's going on. Get the taxiway diagram. I land 10. They are running up. Uh, Land and hold short for one zero, which means you land, hold short, runway five. On the ATIS, I said there's 4,500 feet uh, when you do a land and hold short operation before you hit runway five. We'll see if they give that to me either way. I'm going to make myself aware of it. Then we have uh, landing on <coughs> landing on runway one zero. We have taxiways Charlie four, Charlie three, Charlie two, Charlie one. Then Bravo. And then Bravo over to the hangars. I'll be going to the FBO. So descending out 3,000. We'll get maybe vectored around, call up tower, probably make something like a little left base to 1-0. It'll be pretty chill. Grumman 619 has the field in sight. Grumman 619, you could visit approach uh, Lafayette. Currently, I got traffic at your 1 o'clock, 7 miles, maneuvering 1,900 indicated, type of known. 619 cleared for the visual one uh, for 1-0, Lafayette. Grumman 619, VFR traveling at 12 o'clock, 4 miles, maneuvering indicated 1800. 619 is looking for that traffic. Yeah, 619 has that traffic immediately underneath me. Grumman 619, Roger, radar service terminating, contact Lafayette Tower, have a good night. 619 over to Tower, thanks a lot. Lafayette Tower, Grumman Tiger 746194 14 to the north on the visual 10 with India. The Grumman 64915 Lafayette Tower Report 3 North. Um, I got no traffic right now. Would you like runway 5 or runway 10? Zero? Windsor 0204. Uh, 69 will take runway 10 and report 3 North uh, for Grumman 69. 
619 and roger. Well, make sure it's coming rich. All right, pull this tank. All right, descending want to be about pattern altitude. Uh, I want to make my call for three north. That looks like I'll probably make a left base. Runway one zero, so I'm descending here about 400 feet a minute from 2,600 going down to 1,700, which will be 1,000 feet above ground elevation, pattern altitude. Let me double check to make sure that it is correct. Yeah, elevation 1,606, pattern altitude 1,600. Eight miles out, 140 knots still. Start pulling that power back, slowing us down. Mixture all the way rich. Nice house down there. That feels kind of funny. Got a nice pool though. Uh, West Lafayette, nice spot. Tell you what, don't love Indiana at all. Cruise over here uh, about a month ago to drop off some data on the way back from 100 Acre Wood Rally to Morgan. Real cool little vibe. College town, neat houses, neat neighborhoods, cool people. Would spend some time here without complaint. I wonder what kind of food they have. I don't know if they have good food. Morgan, uh, employee of specialty field production by company, has been cruising around the country with his girlfriend who's uh, basically moves jobs every six months or every nine months. So they lived in Austin, Cincinnati, West Lafayette, Michigan. And I feel like there was another one in there too. Anyway, they're all over the place. So you gotta run data to them either via the internet, FedEx, or in this case, a Tiger, which is smoking all of those. All right, slow us down even more. All the mail right now, got the field in sight. And coming out 1,900 feet. Should be just about right pattern altitude. Chairman 619, runway 10, clear to land. Runway 10, clear to land, 609. Wind 3505. 350 at 5609. All right, and then after tower, we've got ground. 121.9. Start our base turn. Gonna make a big base turn because it kind of went a little wide here. That's that's cool. Let's chill. Second notch of flaps coming in on base. Clear to 25 off. Tower for three miles north. Make left traffic runway five. For three miles north, make left traffic runway five. Uh, later on five. That was a greaser, dude. That was a 10 out of 10. Road 619 area, continue on the runway, turn left, Charlie, one safe parking. Left on Charlie, and uh, 69 is going to the FBO, full stop. Roger, from Charlie, one into the ramp straight ahead, this frequency. From Charlie on the road to the ramp on this frequency, 69. All right, that's it. Lafayette, let's get this data to Morgan. I'm writing, this, I'm writing this data, dude. Hey, dude. Hey, How's it going? Hi. Just a quick trip down to yeah, West yeah. Lafayette? Yeah, uh, hour 16, way better than driving, dude. What's, hey. what's in the box, man? It's in the box! Danners, man. I'll trade you them. <laughs> I'd rather have Danners. Uh, yeah, they're nice. <laughs> Be careful, There's, that's all the what's hard in, drives. What's in there for real? Hard drives. Ooh. Did you bring a belly? No. Nope. I mean, I did, but still a GoPro, so. Thanks for being my computer bag, dude. Morgan, he gave me a laptop. We got an Asus Zephyrus G14 with an anime matrix display. That's pretty sick. And a box of Danner boots, which I don't think is Danner boots. I think it's actually, oh boy. About a million and a half dollars of uh, data on hardware. That's pretty sick there too, okay. Cool. Put that back there and uh, save people. And we'll, uh, we'll get on the road here. Six one nine left tower. Proceed on course. Climb maintain nine thousand. Runway five. Clear for takeoff. Climb maintain nine thousand. On course. Clear for takeoff. Six nine. Climb three tango pop. Contact Grissom approved. Back to Grissom. Three tango pop. Back to six six. Contact Grissom approach. Contact Grissom approach. Die hard to six three three six six. Contact Grissom Approach. 619 Grissom Approach. Grissom Approach, Grumman Tiger 74619 or 1600 climbing just off Lafayette. Grumman 74619 or departure right in. 619 right in. 
climbing out of Lafayette. Got a bunch of backup data on board. Morgan's got the data for the uh, sick edit. It's gonna be a real nice sunset flight. You can have sunset over Lake Michigan. Pretty calm weather. It's gonna be, well, a little bumpy on the climb, but it should be calm after that with a little three knot tailwind, maybe. Should be pretty chill. I'll check in uh, once the sun starts going down. It's gonna look nice. Michigan has the finest sunsets in the world, end of story, period, 100%. That's a fact. Flying over Michigan, I think you get maybe 2% even better than what you see on the beach here. Incredible sunsets, especially with this view over the lake. Absolutely great. Makes it worth flying at these moments, like over Lake Michigan or near Lake Michigan, anywhere in Michigan really, because it's a beautiful state. Sunset, calm air, everything's working. It's a it's a really nice experience. Would highly highly recommend it. My favorite time to fly: sunset, early evening, evening. Absolutely beautiful right now. Extreme gradient from blue to orange. I was sure this little iPhone clip was shooting there, and the old iPhone got flares. Lake Michigan's looking beautiful like always. Seven four hundred. Absolutely nice. Wonderful little time here. Highly recommend flying in the hour before and two hours after sunset. So it was about an hour, an hour 15 down, hour 20, uh, about hour 22 back. So a little less than well, about three hours of my life, including the time on the ground. Would have taken 29 days to send it via Comcast. Would have taken 19 hours to send it via FedEx. So as far as I'm concerned, the fastest way to send data is a Grumpa Tiger. And you can't beat it. Cheaper, faster, definitely more fun.